Modela made history when she walked the L'Oreal fashion show which took place some days back in Paris. But the L'Oreal actually do Tammy dirty. Find out after the jump. Hello my darling fashion tigers and tigresses, how you're doing? Hope you're having a stylish and fashionable week. Um, Temi Otodala made history when she walked the L'Oreal fashion show recently. I mean, the 28-year-old has been going into fields right, left and center for time immemorial. Her spoon kid is gradually building her resume she has featured in so many things artistic from acting she's an actress to blogging she's a fashion blogger with her defunct blog gto fashion she is also a lifestyle and content creator she has graced the cover of so many so many magazines she is the current face of laurel the digital face of uh, the current face of laurel digital and she added a new one. She made her runway debut by walking the runway at Laurel Fashion Show, which took place in Paris. The venue of this event was the Place de la Pere. I don't know if it's correct. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm going to leave it on the screen. Yes. Uh, Tebi Otadala, you know, to me, she was actually her outfit was actually the best i'm going to tell you the creator the designer behind this whole stunning masterpiece in a bit but first of all Tammy wasn't the only celebrity who walked the runway though we have we had the uh, kendall jenna uh my absolute favorite favorite actress one of my favorite actresses vala davis and her how to get away with mother costa Aja Naomi King. We also had uh, Eva Longoria walk the runway, and we had the stunning, ever beautiful Aswa Raya. Sorry, I don't ever know how to pronounce her name, but please forgive me. I'm going to leave her name on the screen. The stunning Indian beauty. Yes, yeah, she also walked the runway. You hardly see her these days, but it was beautiful and refreshing to see her. As a matter of fact, kudos to Laurel. The people who it was a diverse diversity on display. I mean, from every continent on the face of the earth. I actually liked what they did when it came to diversity and inclusivity. It was beautiful. Now, I also loved this fun moment Timmy Todala's husband had for her, Mr. Easy. <laughs> Um, he was obviously proud. He was a fanboy, if I may add. And I also loved their cute, cute, cute moments on uh, Instagram. You know, the lovey dovey, beautiful, beautiful. Now, so what I noticed, I noticed so far, Temi Otedala has not really been acknowledged on Laurel Par uh, on Laurel's Instagram page. Also noticed that she was visibly absent in their group photo. If you don't know, all the people, all the celebrities who walked the runway took a group photo and I didn't see Tommy or Tedala. I searched and combed, I did everything. I didn't see her there. And if she she was indeed there, her face was in prominence. Now the reason why I'm saying this is that Temi Otadala represented Africa, the African continent on that runway. You know, like I said earlier, she's actually Laurel's digital ambassador. She's the face of Laurel digitally in Africa. So why was she not given a prominent sp space there? I mean, she's representing a whole continent continent well if she was indeed there like i said it, she wasn't prominent and to me that was quite shady while i'm happy that africa was represented there i mean we've fought to be heard severally globally when it comes to the international space we fought to be heard but it's not just enough just say hey at least you were there no we should be represented and given a space to shine you know laurel not making her a prominent feature there to me was shady anyway 
now to the absolute absolute my absolute favorite part of this whole event Tammy Otadala's dress oh sh her dress her dress her dress to me her dress was the best it was stunning on the runway it stood out is it your regular scheduler that you wear you know out and about no except to a costume party or something but i was, i like the fact that the dress stood out it wasn't dress didn't come to play honey that dress didn't come to fit in that dress came to stand out that dress came to be seen that dress came to do clear road you know how we say it here yes that dress is that girl is that girl that shine true this is actually mwah, chef's kisses it actually featured a bustier you know I, you know you guys i know i love bustier and i love well constructed bustiers then the lower part the skirt part was this exaggerated poof oof, you know there's a picture of the dress i saw absolutely stunning it was dress was left on the floor artistically and it kind of looked like a rose to me that dress is beautiful she wore what i suspect a pair of little button shoes i'm not so sure because it's not clear from my end now i can't really see it clearly um the shoes i suspect are little button movida shoes i'm going to leave the price tag and everything on the screen i'm not so sure because like i said it's not clear but hey um one thing i'm sure about though is the designer behind Temi Otadala's stunning outfit. Temi Otadala actually walked the 2024 Laurel Pario fashion show wearing a creation by Cheng Peng. The creation is actually from his 2024-2025 Fall Winter collection. And like I said earlier, this dress was the star of the whole show for me. You know, the other dresses, no distinct to anyone, they're all nice they were all good regular but this dress actually stood out because it's not your regular and it stole the show to me maybe that's why they didn't put her in front so she won't steal the show again <laughs> now for styling i love the fact that her hair was swept off her face to give it to give the dress the star attention that it deserved her lip she wore a bold red lip which to me was actually nice um her shoes everything i'll give to me 10 over 10. Mia Tadala was actually fashion tigers fierce in this outfit speaking of speaking of her outfit to Tadala was actually stunning in this black creation by another designer click on this video see her outfit and how elegant she looked in this creation